welcome to the Max Adventure app. When you first open it, you'll be presented with the dashboard where you can sign in to view your booking information. When signing in, make sure to use the same details you used when making your booking. Here, from the dashboard, you'll see it's changed slightly. I now have notifications along the top that let me know I'm due to make some payments. And if I press the bell icon, I can see a few more notifications that let me know my balance is due soon. I can use the side menu navigation to look at things like my account or about Max Adventure. I can also use the settings to manage my notifications. Below these, I have my upcoming trips some marketing materials or app support and I can also book a new trip. For upcoming trips I can scroll through them, they appear in date order of what is coming soonest and I can click on them to see the booking overview. If I'd like to I can also navigate to the same page using the backpack icon. Here I'll see a list of all my bookings, both confirmed, cancelled and pending, and also my past bookings. For the purposes of this demonstration, let's take a look at the Yorkshire Pubs walks. Here you'll be able to see everything that you're used to seeing in my account, from your visa information, to the pricing for the tour, where you can also make payments by using the pay balance button and also the travellers on the booking. You can use the edit details button to edit any details you wish to. And save at the bottom. The most interesting buttons on these screens are the map and itinerary buttons. Let's take a look at the maps first. Here you'll be able to see all of your walks that you're going on as part of your trip. They appear in the order that you should need to walk them. By clicking on one of these, I'll be taken to the map. I can read about my trip and also download it for offline use. Here I can see the elevation profile and the description that our product team have set up. When I'm out in the field and ready to start walking, having downloaded this for offline use, it will be available to me. When I'm ready to start, I simply click the map. Here I can see a finish line flag and a starting point. So now when I'm ready to walk, I simply follow the blue line. I will appear as a blue arrow and simply follow along that line. At the moment, I'm not in the area for this walk, which is why I can't see that blue arrow. But if I press the square with the dot in it, we can see the blue arrow here. Please remember to go through while connected to the internet and click download for offline use so that it is available to you when you're walking with no signal. If you'd like to test that it's available, you can always switch your phone to airplane mode before you go and this will ensure that it's available to you. The next most interesting screen here is the itinerary. If I click on this, I'll be able to see what I'm doing each day. I can download the itinerary for offline use as well if I'd like to access this while out in the field. Using the concertina menu, I press down and I'll be able to see the services that make up my itinerary. For example, on this first day, I will arrive in Grassington and I would like to know more about that. I click view details and I get to read about Grassington. Pressing the back button, I see that I'm going to stay at Test Hotel on Saturday the 1st of October, which has a check-in time of three o'clock. I click on view details and I can see a picture of the hotel here. I can see I'm checking in from three and check out from three 
a twin room for two adults. I can see the property address and some relevant contact details should I need to contact the hotel directly. Below this, I can see other important details about the hotel, just like I can on the My account. This screen is mirrored in other services, for example, the transfers. I can see here that I have a transfer from Aberlady to Cockenley. I can view my pickup of descriptions, drop off descriptions, and how it works. Each service has its own screen where you can find out more information about your walks. And you can simply expand and contract the menus as you need. We have two other icons along the bottom, which we'll touch on in today's video, which is the maps. Again, a quicker way perhaps of getting to the maps for your bookings, if that's what you're specifically looking for. Click the map icon, click on your booking, and you will go straight to the maps for that booking. Last icon along the bottom here is the little person which is your profile and your contact details. So another place there that you can edit. Using the home icon takes you to the home and that's the Max Adventure app.